Welcome to a low skill legendary guide for Chacklock, the second Halo Infinite boss. He is the sword elite in the tower. Um, just letting this cutscene play out a little bit so you know where we're at. The core of this strategy is that I drove a Razorback full of marines up here and equipped them with power weapons prior to the engagement. For some reason they don't get out of the Warthog, I'm not really sure why, but it actually makes the encounter easier. Once you're in the Warthog, Chaklock really can't do anything. Um, his sword doesn't really do any damage. His pulse carbine doesn't really do any damage. For a period of time there, my marines weren't really shooting. The reason for that is I was a little bit too close, so make sure you keep some distance. The marines will try to avoid dealing splash damage to themselves or the Warthog. Now, this is taking a very long time because I actually have the Mythic Skull on as well. I really wanted to hammer home that this boss cannot do anything to you while you are in this Warthog. He does have a huge shield pool, but he doesn't have as much health, so we're almost out of this fight here. And then he attacks the Warthog with the sword, which just makes me laugh every time. And that's the encounter. So let's get into the how-to. Obviously, we're going to need this Razorback. You're going to have to bring it from one of the forward operating bases. Uh, if you choose, you can bring a number of Marines and park them outside. There's the gatehouse where you have to lower that gate. If you leave them outside of there, they will not be harmed by any of the enemies in the base, and they won't be able to get in. Uh, so you jump back and get your uh, Razorback, drive it in here with all your Marines, and just drive right into this thing here. Now you can see the Marines have a bunch of power weapons. All of those power weapons are available on the map. The two of the Ravagers are brought in by enemies. One's in a weapon case. The rockets are in the back right near where the skill point is, and the Hydra comes in with the last wave of enemies. Now I thought about cutting all of these attempts where I don't get up there, but then I thought it might be good to keep them in, give me a little time to do some voiceover, and also show that you might not get up there on the first time, but it really isn't too tricky. I'm just going to do a quick backflip up here, and for some reason that's going to get me in. That's all we need. Now of course, I've already cleared all of the enemies out here. I don't want to have my Warthog take any damage. I don't want to lose any of my Marines. We're just going to drive all the way up. Uh, the one thing that's important to note, you want to clear the first three levels, you do not want to go to the fourth level where the boss is. Uh, if you do this, there is a door that will close behind you and you will not be able to double back and get your Warthog. Sure glad the chief's back with us. Just got one more floor here and I'm going to show you where to park the Warthog. I parked it right in front of the Spartan. You can see as I drove up, I was just doing a little bit of scanning to find the door. And I found that this was the side here, so we're just going to swing around another corner and park it right in front of the window so I can get in nice and easy. So that's just about it. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and we'll see you on the next one.